Hi, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You. And in this video, we're going to go over um, just kind of uh, starting off from our last video, understanding how we can, you know, place some of these different subscriptions into different uh, management groups. So uh, if you're using the Azure Enterprise Scale Landing Zone module uh, from Terraform, you're going to want to actually be able to move some of your existing uh, subscriptions into this model to uh, fit the you know, the needs of being able to, you know, assign policies and things like that, um, you know, uh, so that it, it fits basically the cloud adoption framework. So I'm on, I don't have like an enterprise agreement. So I, you know, with, I can only create so many subscriptions. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the ones that I already have. So basically what I'm going to do is I have this connectivity one, this management one, and then I have a production and development. So Let's say, for example, so with um, the cloud adoption framework, there is a module, there's a, they they kind of want to push to be able to reuse subscriptions that no longer are used. Say you set up a POC or a proof of concept for an application and that proof of concept is, uh, you know, finished. You, you shouldn't just delete the subscription. You want to be able to reuse that. So the way you can kind of, um, you know, set this up is you can put things in decommission things that you're sandboxing inside sandboxes. Um, instead of having to create like separate layers underneath those, we can just go ahead and do what's called a subscription override in the um, Terraform module and just take our IDs and place them directly in there. So for our connectivity and management, these can already be um, done without having to do any type of overrides. If I pull up the Terraform here, we can kind of see, so I broke, like from my last video, I broke these out into different um, steps. So connectivity can actually just be a, um, we have a default, we just throw it in there. So if I get the actual connectivity and it is that one, what I'm gonna do is make sure that Okay, so deploy connectivity resources. I'm gonna go ahead and say false there. Not gonna deploy anything to it. Those would come from this file here. Um, and then my subscription ID is var subscription ID. And then let's check out my uh, management as well. So if I go under settings or actually my main.tf and get the variable, my subscription is the B. Okay, so that's correct there as well. So what I'm gonna do is make sure deploy management resources is set to false. I don't wanna deploy anything. So let's go ahead and step into the folder. Terraform. Oh, actually, I need to go back into the Git. If I can type today. All right, so now AZ calf. And I need to step into that second folder and do a Terraform plan. Get this out the way. And basically, this is going to drop that into the correct um, management group there. So it looks like it. Oh, this is just an output. Um, it shouldn't be trying to. Oh, OK, it's not creating anything. Oh, so it's just saying changes to the output. Turning that stuff false. From apply and make sure, let me make sure. So deploy connectivity, configure connectivity resources. Uh, yeah, let's comment all of this out here. Shh. 
should be, let's do another terraform plan. That might air out. Yes, okay, so. Go back to my main.tf. So the figure, I wonder if I can set that to, let's look at the documentation. So we go to CAF, Enterprise Scale, Terraform. We should be able to see where Figure connectivity resources. So basically, I just don't want it to. So deploy connectivity resources. So I wonder, I might be able to actually comment that out. That's probably what I need to do. Uh, a local variable name configure. Oh, oh, the output. Okay. So. And then comment that out as well. All right, so let's do the Terraform plan. And that should just come with the uh, subscription ID being outputted. Okay, so that's better. So now we're going to do a Terraform apply. I'm just going to do an auto approve. And then if I go into my management, so configure management resources, we're also going to set that to nothing there. And let's open up another terminal. Oh, that's running. Let's run it. And this should be the same way. Basically, should just output eight. Yep, and then we're gonna do a Terraform, apply. And then now if we go into our fourth um, folder here. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to need to be able to put things inside of the correct groups. So what I'm going to do is actually uncomment this out. And what it's saying is basically the configure management resources and the subscription ID management can be derived well actually we're not configuring anything so we're actually going to come keep that commented out because it's not going to actually output anything in the output so when it goes to look to the state file it's not going to see anything so it, it may air out so basically the subscription id the deploy connectivity resources set the false um, it's going to grab that from the state file of those um, folders here. So that's why these must be ran and up, kept up to date before you run anything in here. So I'm gonna save that. But what I also need to do, if I go back to, um, there's the subscription ID overrides. And basically what this allows you to do is um, put things inside of different management groups that you don't, that you want to override from the default module. So if I take this value and just stick it in here, this is going to equal, and then what we're going to do is you have to, if, if you look at the actual examples, 
Uh, let's see if we can find. Should be a order for a test. Actually, what we can do is this. We can do a find in files. Let's look for. No, not that one. Not that one. Yeah, here. So as you can see, it's a locals block that basically you take the naming of these particular. Now they don't recommend doing these ones because it should be done um, automatically. Like the landing zones, you should use archetype configs, um, archetype overrides, which I believe should be up here somewhere. Archetype config overrides. So I'm going to go ahead and take this decommissioned one. And if I go back to let me copy that. And basically you need a list of strings. So decommissioned. Equals. Oh, actually, I got the wrong. All right, so decommissioned is going to equal the ID of development. I'm going to take development. I'm going to control paste isn't working today. All right, let me grab that again. All right, there we go. And then we're going to take the production one, and we're actually going to stick that in our production subscription ID here. So let's go ahead and save that. So as we see first, if we go and we do a refresh, we should, oh, well, we have to run this uh, last one. That's right. So this is what actually handles all that. So if we do a Terraform plan now. Uh, so it says no, oh, I didn't update the, Oh, I'm in the third one still. I need to now go into this folder. So let's go open an integrated terminal. So it's reading the external states here, connectivity management. So as you can see, you see the subscription ID is going into the decommissioned this is going into production, this one into connectivity, and then this one inside of management. So we're going to do a Terraform, apply, auto approve. So now if you're doing this in a production environment, you do want to make sure that if you have any like IAM roles that would be in like your existing management group, um, structure you want to put those and make sure they're propagated down into your uh new structure because as you can see you have your tenant group but then you might have a childs of the tenant but not necessarily childs of uh that so the anything that's replicated in those childs of the tenant won't go down into the new structure so you just want to make sure you don't break any ch um have anything that breaks as you move subscriptions around, such as our um, access to 
certain applications and access and stuff like that. So this is finished now. So if we do a refresh, we should see this tenant group start to actually, let's see what identity was already in there. Let's refresh the page. So let's see, we got production now in production. We got connectivity inside of connectivity, uh, management and management. And then if we refresh again, let's see if the decommission came in. So, and that is that there. So that's a way, that's the way to manage your subscriptions and move those around versus actually going into the, um, uh, do going and doing it through the GUI. So that way, if you run your, you know, plan and applies again, it doesn't actually remove things that it, it shouldn't be in there. So uh, that's the one way to go about that. If you have any questions in regards to that particular setup, um, you know, creating any of the archetype configs that we talked about in the last videos, drop me a comment down below and uh, I'll be definitely sure to get back with you. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.